So a new discovery in Antarctica. Researchers find new life under an ice shelf, and the discovery was an accident. Antarctica has always been a mystery, with its vast icy terrain and extreme weather conditions. For decades, Russia has been conducting scientific research in this continent to explore its secrets. Recently, Russia has made some shocking scientific discoveries in Antarctica that have left the world stunned. From the discovery of a massive subglacial lake to new evidence of microbial life in the ice, Russia's research has opened up new possibilities for our understanding of this remote and enigmatic region. Join us as we explore Russia's groundbreaking scientific discoveries in Antarctica and their potential implications for the future. Antarctica's history is a fascinating story that spans millions of years. The continent was once part of a supercontinent called Gondwana, which included South America, Africa, Australia, India, and Antarctica. Over time, the continents began to drift apart, with Antarctica separating from Australia and South America around 34 million years ago. Prior to its separation, Antarctica was a much warmer and more hospitable place, with a diverse range of flora and fauna. Fossil evidence suggests that the continent was once home to forests, wetlands, and even dinosaurs, including the largest dinosaur ever discovered, the Titanosaurian sauropod. As Antarctica began to cool, the forests and wetlands gave way to tundra and eventually to ice. By around 14 million years ago, Antarctica was covered in ice, and the continent's climate had become the cold and inhospitable environment we know today. In recent years, Russia has been actively involved in research in Antarctica, studying the continent's unique environment and the impact of climate change on its ice sheets and ecosystems. Through their research, Russian scientists have made some shocking discoveries that have significant implications for our understanding of the Earth's climate and the effects of global warming. While much of the research being conducted in Antarctica is focused on understanding the impact of climate change on the continent's environment, there have also been some alarming and even frightening discoveries made in this remote and largely unexplored region of the world. One of the most disturbing discoveries in recent years was the discovery of a massive 2,000 square mile cavity beneath the Thwaites Glacier in West Antarctica. This cavity was found in 2019 by a team of researchers from the University of California, Irvine, and NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, who used satellite data to create a detailed map of the ice planet. The discovery of this cavity raised concerns about the stability of the Thwaites Glacier, which is one of the largest and most unstable glaciers in Antarctica, and is currently responsible for around 4% of global sea level rise. Another alarming discovery in Antarctica was the discovery of a group of rare, previously unknown viruses in the ice. In 2019, a team of researchers from Ohio State University discovered 28 new viruses in a core sample of ice taken from a remote region of Antarctica. While the viruses are not harmful to humans, the discovery of these viruses raised concerns about the potential for other, more harmful viruses to be discovered in the ice as the climate warms and the ice begins to melt. There have also been reports of the discovery of large, unexplained structures in the ice and beneath the surface of the continent. In 2018, a group of scientists from the British Antarctic Survey reported the discovery of a strange circular structure in the ice, measuring around two kilometers across. The structure was located beneath the surface of the ice and appeared to be of artificial origin, leading to speculation that it may be the remains of a long-lost civilization or an extraterrestrial structure. Russia has a long history of conducting research in Antarctica, with its first Antarctic expedition taking place in 1955. Since then, Russia has continued to conduct research on the continent, with a number of research stations located in various parts of Antarctica. Russia has established a number of research stations in Antarctica over the years, each with a specific focus and area of study. These stations are strategically located across the continent and provide valuable insights into the impact of climate change on the Antarctic environment. One of the most important Russian research stations in Antarctica is the Bellingshausen Station, which is located on King George Island in the South Shetland Islands. The station was opened in 1968 
and is one of the most important research stations on the continent. The primary research focus of the Bellingshausen Station is the study of the impact of climate change on the environment, including changes in the temperature and acidity of the surrounding oceans, melting of the ice shelves, and changes in sea level. Another important Russian research station in Antarctica is the Progress Station, which is located in the Larsman Hills on the coast of Prids Bay in East Antarctica. This station was opened in 1988 and is primarily focused on glaciology, including the study of ice sheet dynamics, ice cores, and ice shelf processes. The station is also used for atmospheric research and for the monitoring of ozone depletion in the region. The Vostok Station is another important Russian research station in Antarctica, which is located in the center of the continent, near the South Geomagnetic Pole. The station was opened in 1957 and is one of the oldest and most remote stations on the continent. The primary research focus of the Vostok Station is on climate and geology, including the study of the Antarctic ice sheet and the reconstruction of past climate conditions using ice cores. The Russian Antarctic Expedition has also established several other research stations across the continent, including the Novolazarovskaya Station, which is located in the Lazarev Sea area of Queen Maud Land, and the Murny Station, which is located on the coast of the Davis Sea in East Antarctica. These stations are primarily focused on meteorology, atmospheric research, and the monitoring of Antarctic ecosystems. One area of focus for Russian scientists has been the study of ice shelves, massive floating sheets of ice that surround much of Antarctica. These ice shelves play a crucial role in regulating the flow of ice from the continent's interior to the ocean, and their stability is essential for maintaining the balance of the Earth's climate. In recent years, several of Antarctica's largest ice shelves have begun to disintegrate, which has raised concerns about the potential impact on sea level rise and global climate patterns. Russian scientists have been studying the ice shelves in detail, using satellite imagery and other advanced technologies to track their movements and changes over time. One of the most shocking discoveries made by Russian scientists is the extent to which some of Antarctica's ice shelves are breaking up. In 2017, a massive iceberg known as A68 broke off from the Larsen Sea ice shelf, an event that Russian scientists had been tracking for months. The iceberg, which was larger than the state of Delaware, was a stark reminder of the impact that climate change is having on Antarctica's ice shelves. Since then, other ice shelves in Antarctica have also shown signs of instability, with cracks and fractures appearing on their surfaces. Russian scientists have been monitoring these changes closely, using data from satellites and other sources to better understand the causes and effects of these changes. Another area of focus for Russian scientists has been the study of Antarctica's ecosystems, including its unique marine life and the impacts of climate change on these fragile ecosystems. One of the most notable discoveries made by Russian scientists in recent years has been the discovery of new species of marine life in the waters around Antarctica. In 2019, Russian scientists announced the discovery of a new species of fish in the Weddell Sea, one of the coldest and most inhospitable regions of the Southern Ocean. The fish, which was given the name Pagathenia borchgrevinki, is adapted to survive in the freezing waters around Antarctica and is one of several new species that have been discovered in the region in recent years. At the same time, Russian scientists have also been studying the impacts of climate change on Antarctica's marine ecosystems, including the effects of warming waters and changes in sea ice cover. These changes are having a profound impact on the food webs that support Antarctica's marine life, and there are concerns that these ecosystems could be irreversibly altered in the coming years. The effects of climate change on Antarctica are not limited to its ice shelves and ecosystems, however. Russian scientists have also been studying the impact of global warming on the continent's weather patterns, including changes in precipitation, wind patterns, and atmospheric conditions. One of the most concerning trends identified by Russian scientists is the increase in meltwater on the continent's surface. As temperatures rise, more and more ice is melting on the surface of Antarctica, which can lead to the formation of lakes and rivers on the ice sheet itself. These meltwater lakes can then destabilize the ice sheet, making it more prone to collapse and contributing to rising sea levels. Overall, the research being conducted by Russian scientists in Antarctica is shedding new light on the impacts of climate change on one of the most remote and inhospitable regions of the planet. 
Their discoveries are helping to inform our understanding of the Earth's climate system and the potential consequences of continued warming. And they underscore the urgent need for action to mitigate the effects of global warming and protect the planet for future generations. The melting of Antarctica's ice sheets is not only a concern for global sea levels, but also has the potential to impact weather patterns and ocean currents around the world. As more fresh water enters the ocean from melting ice sheets, it can alter the salinity and density of ocean water, which can in turn impact ocean currents that circulate heat around the planet. This could lead to significant changes in global weather patterns, with the potential for more extreme weather events, including hurricanes and heat waves. Despite the many challenges of conducting research in Antarctica, Russian scientists have made significant contributions to our understanding of this unique continent and the impact of climate change on its fragile ecosystems. Through their work, they have shown that even the most remote and inhospitable regions of the planet are not immune to the effects of global warming, and that urgent action is needed to mitigate the effects of climate change and protect the Earth's delicate balance. That pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. So, what are your thoughts about Russia's ongoing research in Antarctica? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one.